In the previous video, we proved the theorem about reducibility uh, test for degrees 2 and 3. So the theorem is this one. Let f be a field if f of x is a polynomial in the field of polynomials. And so a polynomial in the field of polynomials and the degree of f is 2 or 3, then f is reducible over the field if and only if fx has a 0 in the field. Okay, if you want to, to see the proof, please check the previous video. Uh, this is um, this is very uh, this theorem is very useful um, if you have a field like um, this ZP okay uh, in this case for to check the, the reducibility of a given polynomial F of X it's only a matter of testing you see if there is any any x where you're going to get zero okay and you do that for zero for one uh, um, sorry if in any value you can get zero so you test that you start with zero then one etc till P minus one because you are in ZP. Okay. Okay. Another fact is this is a reducibility test for degrees two and three. So uh, polynomials of a larger degree may be reducible over a field. Okay. Uh, even though they do not have zeros in the field. Okay. Take, for instance, the, the polynomials over the rational numbers. You take a polynomial like, for instance, x to the power of 4 plus 2 to x to the power of 2 plus 1. Okay. Uh, it's easy to check that this is x squared plus 1 to the power of 2. So there will be no zeros over the, the rational numbers, right? So it has no zeros over the rational numbers, but it is reducible over the field of the rationals. Okay? Okay. Okay, quick definition. We move into a quick definition after the reducibility test the content of a polynomial and another concept the primitive polynomial so the content of a polynomial if we have a polynomial a n x to the power of n a n minus 1 x to the power of minus 1 etc till a null the content is the greatest common divisor of um, the coefficients okay so the greatest common divisor you are going to get the content the content of the polynomial now the concept of primitive a primitive polynomial is an element in the polynomial ring of the integers over the integers with content one okay that's what is called a primitive polynomial a third concept Gauss's lemma the product of two primitive polynomials is primitive okay a proof for all this is really easy and a bit useless now I hope you keep in mind that the question of reducibility is going to depend on the coefficients one permits. That's why we had this, this, these theorems now. 
because um, so it depends on the coefficient okay the coefficients are the ones that are going to decide if a given polynomial is reducible or not and of course it depends on which ring these coefficients are um, for instance x squared minus 2 is clearly irreducible over the ring of the integers but it is reducible um, for instance here you can check that okay I will prove in the future this very beautiful uh, fact every polynomial of the degree greater than 1 with coefficients from an integral domain is reducible over some field we don't know which field it is but we know that it, it is reducible over some field.